So today I was using Code42 Insider to review the activity of a departing employee. See, when people change jobs, it can be tempting to take company data on the way out. Some just want to make their next job easier. Others believe the files belong to them. Sometimes it's accidental. Other times, check this out. Okay, as part of my daily workflow, I was looking at Insider's departing employees list that summarizes risk activity for employees that are leaving the company. And I saw that this user recently put data at risk. Taking a closer look, I see this. Using a browser or app on their endpoint, this user did something that Insider flagged with a risk indicator specifically a file mismatch. This triggers when activity is detected for a file with an extension that doesn't appear to match its contents. Clicking for more details, the mismatch appears to be for a zip file. Well, let's look at this file event closer using forensic search. Okay, event details. I see this file was read by a browser or app and what appears to be a vacation photo.ping. However, Insider has identified it as a zip archive and the file was uploaded via the web to Dropbox. Okay, not a good sign. The file's not currently on the user's endpoint, but Insider did capture the file previously. So if I download the file, change the file extension to zip, and yeah, those aren't vacation photos. Because Insider is continuously monitoring for exposure and exfiltration activity, it'll log all file activity. Zip up a bunch of company data and rename the file to a ping? Nice try, but no. To learn more about Code42 Insider and get some hands-on experience, sign up for one of our no-cost, hour-long workshops held every two weeks at university.code42.com slash workshops. So you go do that, and I'm going to see what else this user's been up to.